Toilet Learning, a guide from infant to toddler, presented by Michelle Murray. We cultivate positive diapering and toileting experiences even at the earliest stages by nurturing the child and developing trust, connection, and communication. Making eye contact, using warm expressions and affirming phrases help to engage the child in the activity, create bonding, and bring awareness to the child's moods and cues. Several milestones in child development mark readiness to begin each step of the process. Preparing in advance for each step is key to success. Around nine months or when the child has developed the core strength to sit upright with stability, we introduce changing diapers in the bathroom and sitting on the toilet. Changing diapers in the bathroom sends the message that this activity happens in the bathroom and changing diapers on a mat on the floor gives the child a better sense of feeling grounded. Around 12 months, the first stage of myelinization occurs in the nervous system's integration process. This precedes voluntary control of the sphincter muscles, which is needed for toileting awareness. We also observe the child's interest and awareness of the toilet during this stage of development. Around 15 months, the child enters the sensitive period for toileting and has more stability with standing and walking. They are able to assist more in dressing and undressing and have developed the habit of taking frequent bathroom breaks with cues and assistance from the caregiver. By 18 to 24 months, many children who have developed a routine of toileting have developed independence and will be ready for the introduction to underwear. There are many creative ways to set up the bathroom for accessibility and independence with toileting and hand washing. This is a time to observe and determine how to help your child carry out the tasks independently. The materials needed for the activity include a potty chair or toilet ring, a basket with wipes, diapers, pull-ups, or underwear depending on the stage of development, a step stool to reach the sink and a changing pad or towel to place on the floor if the child is in the diapering stage. Using the right clothing is essential for setting up for success during the toileting phase. Using pants that are properly fitted with an elastic waistband is ideal for independence with pulling up and pushing down. Try to avoid thick denim, long dresses, tights, and overalls. When starting underwear, be sure to use thick training underwear to save some time in the cleanup process. Plastic underwear protectors can be worn over the underwear when sleeping. This slide describes what new developments might happen during the various stages. When inviting the child to the bathroom, we say, time for a bathroom break. If we are working with infants and young toddlers, we model the baby sign by making a fist and shaking the fist from side to side. Next, we assist in undressing, removing the diaper, and wiping if necessary. Then we help the child to sit on the toilet. After a few minutes, we can check the toilet. If there's any elimination, we can acknowledge the success before dumping the matter into the larger toilet and flushing. If you hear the child going to the bathroom when sitting, acknowledge it in the moment to bring awareness to the activity. Next, assist in wiping and dressing. At the toddler level, show the child how to pull up pants by using one hand in front and one hand in back to make it easier. Finally, move to the sink for hand washing. Prepare the environment with accessible towels for cleaning up accidents. If the child is allowed the responsibility of helping in the cleaning process, they will be more engaged with the cause and effect concept involved in the activity. Understanding the role of the caregiver is an essential part of setting up for success. Although toileting comes quickly for some children, it could take some time to learn for other children. The activity will be more manageable for the caregiver by being prepared, trusting the process, planning accordingly, and following the child's readiness. Be aware of the communication and language you are using when involved in the activity. Use proper terms for body parts rather than slang. This will help the child to understand what's happening. Remember that your attitude will affect the child's behavior. When working through an accident, it's essential to remain positive and to confidently stick to the routine. Negative responses could set up power struggles around toileting, lead to regression or more problematic outcomes. When the child is successful, provide an objective acknowledgement. Rewarding successes are unnecessary as the success itself provides an internal sense of accomplishment. 
When considering the introduction to underwear, there are some signs of readiness to be aware of. Some of the signs include staying dry between bathroom breaks, recognizing the urge to use the toilet, having the ability to manipulate clothing, and being uncomfortable when wet. Staying dry overnight could take more time to master than staying dry during the day when the child is awake. Increasing liquid intake during the day and holding off on drinks after dinner time could help with the occurrence of bedwetting. Parents often opt to keep pull-ups on for bedtime until the child shows a pattern of staying dry at night. Using plastic bed liners will help to keep the mattress clean between sheet changes. Thank you for listening. Please contact Michelle Murray at mmurray at with any questions.